here in this top eight. All right, so it is going to be the Rosalina versus Terry Bogart here. And of course, the Starbits and the Luma are going to be the main zoning tools here for the Buzz. That Starbits has quite a bit of range, and you're going to have to watch out for the desync. There's going to be a little bit of multiple ways Rosa can desync the Luma here. We've seen it before with the Buzz. He also uses that way to desync uh, as a way to kind of close in the gap. But if somebody loves to play patient, it's the Buzz for a reason. So he has no issue kind of playing outside of Riddle's space. Yeah, absolutely. And right there, you see one of the desyncs going for an attack and then going for the wave land there. You can also go for the jump, but the power dunk isn't going to be enough. Rosalina is so light. So light and so scary. Amazing DI from DeBuzz right there. He tries to go to ledge jump, tries to call up the, the jump from the ledge with the back air. Okay, here's the forward air. Trying to set up an offstage situation. Yeah, he's going for the ledge trap here, and DeBuzz is commanding so much of this stage. Very surprised we're here on game number one on Battlefield. This is uh, a very strong stage for DeBuzz. DeBuzz is very comfortable here, but Tells me that Riddles is also very comfortable here as well. I believe we saw the Rock, Paper, Scissors uh, to, just to stage pick, and DeBuzz is so good at Rock, Paper, Scissors in general. Not just Smash, <laughs> it's actually quite impressive. He gets the dash attack, scoops up Riddles. The Go Meter is ready, though, and there's that little trick that we've seen from the DeBuzz before to try to actually initiate the desync so that way he can catch him with an up air. And I love this. Another desync here using the neutral beam. Just using the Luma, and just like that, while wow, Riddles is still alive, but the up air juggle oh. still alive. Terry is so heavy. Oh, the spacing, unfortunate with that down smash. But the down air is going to even clip him. That down air is so big, it's going to be able yeah. to actually reach below that lip of the ledge. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And even we, we saw Rosalina's like Okima able to shoot the Luma forward and actually catch the hang on ledge. Mm -hmm. I mean, just like you said, that down air dips so low. Yeah, the falling rapid job that we've seen before from DeBuzz. And 125, though, still live in all three of these stocks. But like you mentioned earlier, two Charles, Rosa's white, and you already know Riddle's out of that job. He's going to get that follow. He's going to be able to get that first stock. All right, spawning in here. There's a dash attack, and wow, great. Just staying out of the burst rain of crack shoot. And we talked about Terry Bogar's mobility. Well, that move is pretty much all the mobility front-loaded here for Terry, right? It's going to be essentially like that dash act, be really, really quick, and going to be a little harder to punish out of shield as well. And Terry sounds so scared. Doosh, doosh, but the crowd going to be able to come out, send him to the back with that back throw. Going to be able to catch him with that nair. He yeah. can't make it back. The recovery being lackluster, something that DeBuzz is going to know when he's going to be able to actually keep edge guarding Riddles. Yeah, once you get that double jump, as long as you cover the crack shoots, that's going to be the main way for Terry to get back on to stage. I mean, you have some options there, but Rosalina is going to be so strong off stage, and we've seen the buzz go really hard off stage with Rosa, with the forward air, with the down air. See the focus onto the Luma that Riddles is able to take care of that. Now look at the different play style that DeBuzz is going to actually have. Now without the Luma, he's going to be playing a game of chicken on these platforms. Going to be able to actually utilize that mobility before that Luma. Now comes back the Nair now into the grab follow-up. Catches him with the wow. Nair. Nair actually covering so much on that platform. Yeah, I think that covered every single <laughs> option. or very close to it here. The down air is going to do the trick. And that Luma down air doesn't send as the spike, but it is powerful. Not only is DeBuzz his burden ass powerful himself, but he's looking fantastic. He's looking confident. Taking that first game here, like you mentioned before, the set count between these two players, I believe, is Riddle's having it in his favor as of recent. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, the buzz coming out, and honestly, just the last month just has been so impressive. The last like one or two months coming out from the buzz, like I said, it felt like he was kind of in this character crisis, and now he's kind of zoned in and figured out exactly what kind of strategies he wants to use against these specific players and specific characters, and it's really, really coming to here, and the buzz has been looking so refined as of late. Let's go now, game number two. Ready taking that game one, DeBuzz, he doesn't have as much space on those platforms to work with, so when that loom is all off the table, Riddles is going to be able to get a lot more aggressive, but there are those platforms to help make up that recovery. Yeah, and I mean, small battlefield as well, taking away that top platform, we've seen DeBuzz start so many juggle situations. Oh, up we go, but to the ledge, making it a little bit safe. The burning knuckle here, and Luma is going to go here. Okay, trying to go up and over the power wave here. Oh, the buzz. I love the short on the power dunk here and the crack shoot. Really tricky stuff coming out from Riddles. And look at this. Already the triple digits racked onto the buzz. You can see the buzz actually trying to go for the cross up on the Nairs. The Nairs actually just allowing the buzz to get so much started, but also without having to overextend, which is the key to this matchup. 
Okay, there's a Star Bits here. Again, look at all this ground you have to cover. Oh my goodness, the blender there. Rosalina rapid jab with the Luma. Now taking a ton of damage, but the go meter is the reward here. Oh, oh the wow, shield the was so small. Yeah, he got scared right there. He rolled back just in case I was going to pressure a nice little tech though by the side of a ledge. Going to be able to live, but Luma can't say the same. He won't be wishing for the stars just yet. But the dash attack actually going to clip him at the very end right there. Yeah, and because it clipped at the end, that was the sour hit, so it's not going to be enough. The goal meter, the standing grab. Terry's standing grab range is so large. Up smash, no, not enough. Got the auto cancel on the power dunk. Riddles with the incredible safe shield pressure netting the KO. Now look at the way that Riddles is playing. He's playing right, right outside of DeBuzz's space, just trying to find an opportunity. Especially whenever DeBuzz sees that Riddles is trying to approach, that crack shoot is going to get punished. It does hit the Luma, but it doesn't hit the buzz at the same time. But the edge guard, just like we saw in game number one, it's going to be the key as the back air hit box from Luma is going to be able to take that stop. Yeah, even in those situations, the buzz seamlessly getting those edge guards, but they're not that easy. You still have to cover all these different crack shoots or the power dunk angles here, and the buzz just falls to cover them from the ledge with the Luma back air here, evening things up and getting some damage on the way. Now, despite the lack of space here, DeBuzz is doing so well to work with what he's got here between the nares, but this is Riddles, and he was able to get the reset on the platform right there. Oh, I love it. And you see all these lunar landing backers. Essentially, a lunar landing is when you go ahead and do an aerial right before you hit the ground, and Luma will go ahead and do the attack, but you auto-cancel Roses, so then you can combo off of it. So you see the buzz going for these lunar landing backers, going into the grab or dash attack follow-ups. And it's so quick with it, too, just in general, with the way that the buzz is able to try to get those follow-ups so right now. The way that both these players are actually contesting each other toe-to-toe, -to -toe, I got a little scared right there. The auto turnaround as uh, the buzz was able to roll right back onto the stage, gets caught with the up air, sharking for the opportunity to try to find the buzz or rather riddles, but the buzz is playing this so passively as his landing is the one that gets caught. I love the dash back there coming out from Riddles, going for the up smash, and of course the auto turnaround is going to make it automatically turn around and get the reverse up smash there. We like to call that the aimbot. Oh, we love it. It ain't break. If it ain't broke, we'll fix it real quick here, Charles. Oh, you got to take every advantage you can get. But oh. the down air into the up smash. We saw the buzz bringing out that confirmed quite a bit at double down. So I love that we're seeing it even on the platform here. The buzz getting so creative for these stocks. Riddles really has been able to, to contest the Luba, but not as consistently. Oh, that's the double jump! He already used it. He forced to recover from oh. down below, but he doesn't get clipped. Yeah, that was so close. And I mean, Riddles was so low percent, but if that connected, that oh, would have been hurt. Oh, oh, oh. Riddles fighting his way back onto the stage. How is he not scared? I mean, oh, you know what? He's playing Terry, and he's on, he has a gold meter ready. He's but the down air now coming in from the buzz, coming in again, make it twice. You get set horizontally, and you take game number two. And Vicky, you already knew from the positioning, the buzz was like a shark in the water waiting to snatch that downer. Really positioning for that crack shoot, and even Riddle's kind of shaking his head towards the end there, making feeling like a little too obvious here. Expended the double jump early, so when you expend the double jump that early, you really kind of, it's so hard to recover high at that point, and you're forced to use a horizontal option. At that point, maybe a directional air dodge after drifting in, but yeah, it's just so hard at that point. So I think for Riddles, maybe could have saved the double jump and mixed up a low recovery. I really like the fact that you brought up the horizontal recovery, the crack shoot that can easily get contested, but it's the mix up that you have to bring into onto the table. When it yeah. comes against dealing with a player like the Buzz, on the Rosa, that downer is just so much space that you have to worry about that's already being taken up by that hitbox. Yeah, and look at the space being commanded by the Star Bits. I mean, pretty much shooting an entire platform's worth of uh, projectile there. And the thing is, it's spraying it upwards and downwards. You, you cover a lot of area here. And look at this with the juggle. This is where the buzz cashes out with so much damage. The up air juggles. And if you don't get hit by the up air, you get frame trapped by the back air. Look at the way that DeBuzz's spacing is by the ledge, too. He's not just trying to contest him with these automatic downers. He's waiting by the ledge to see if Riddles is going to mix what? things up. He gets the rapid jab automatically. Look at this damage. 140 already onto Riddles. Yeah, very, oh. very confused how Riddles actually hit a jab and didn't confirm it. DeBuzz is able to jab there. That tells me maybe some input flubs, maybe some nerves coming in from Riddles. It does happen, no matter how much... Oh, he wanted to try to parry that. No, no, hold on. Wait a minute, the buzz. <laughs> Wait a minute. That would have been nasty. He could have gotten that punish with the up smash, but it cost his stock. Yeah, but instead, you are going to get dumped in the face. Max Rage, but the up smash, the L'Oreal flip of the hair there, is going to get that stock. <laughs> Got to keep it nice, got to keep it slick real quick, especially with the spacing from the Starbits, the Nair. Riddle's coming in swinging, though, out of this advantage. 
Ooh, the Luma save right there off the grab follow up. You gotta be re It's almost like Ice Climbers, obviously, uh, Luma a little different, but you can save Rosa in a lot of situations, but Look at all of these scrambles. I mean, it's Riddle's the one that's coming on top in terms of damage because in terms of weight, uh, you're you're down for all these trades, right? You love the rage on Terry and you want access to that go meter. Yeah, Terry essentially is a fumigator when it comes to swatting out Rosa here. See the actual stalls? Oh, you think you're gonna jump, but this is Riddle's. He's gonna be able to catch you. I love the delay we saw from Riddle. Just that slight weight and was like, I know exactly when you're going to ledge drop. Let me escort you to the bottom blast zone. He had all the time in the world right there, too. The boss was waiting for that recovery so that way he could make it back. The patience, though. The patience, again. The double jump, instead of executing the up air, waiting to allow he could get the back air. That was such a smart recovery coming out from Riddle, but it does not matter. The buzz sets up the situation one more time and nails the down air. Now we are on a last stock territory right now. 83% for DeBuzz while he's sitting at match point currently. Catches uh -oh. him in the middle of that. Oh, the drift back. He doesn't yeah. even want to try to contest him by the ledge. Yeah, the buzz thought he was going to go maybe onto that platform there. The drift back. The parry is going to seal the deal. No, still alive here for the buzz, but the Luma goes. Luma's gone, and you're still at 119. You see the ledge drop opportunity from Riddles. He's trying to catch a landing right now. Another parry. Oh, it's too far. Not going to be able to get the punish here. The Luma is back. Okay, tries to get the dash grab, but not in a great position for the buzz here. Trying to get out of the corner, and I mean, Luma not going to get out of that corner. There goes another one. Yep, that's a dash attack that's going to be able to take care of the Luma. We are going all around town. Come on, Mr. World, why oh, real no. quick? Oh, he could have had the opportunity right there. Yeah, wanted to go for the ledge grab there, but the miss input from Riddle's going to cost him the positioning there, and now the Luma's back. Just that one input error could mean everything here. It gave free space to the buzz here. The shield pressure coming in. He gets an air. Oh, he gets a reset too, but you're trying to contest him with the upper. This is Riddle's. These fists are on fire. Get out of my way, Riddle's. Punching in a game for this set, and I mean... You have to do it now or never. You're in loser's bracket. I, if you lost that game, you're out of the tournament. So Raiders backed up into the corner here, but fighting back. All right, Charles, this is just the first set of top eight. You hear my voice? I know everybody hears my voice. This is nothing <laughs> new to anybody. That's it. The, after today, is go, it's done for. And it's this done. is already game number three of this top eight, and it's already getting like this? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, every single match is going to be absolutely wild in this top eight. We have so much top level talent. And even just talking to a bunch of the players this weekend, I, I one recurring theme I'm saying is a lot of players are just getting really good at the game. Yep. It's it's absolutely insane. There's so much players that you would just be like, wow, I can't believe they didn't make top eight. But it's it's just so crazy because there's so much players getting to that level of play and really contesting the top talent. You know what I'm starting to notice a lot more often too, Charles, is that that patience, that wait and punish game that we've been seeing from a lot of our high end talent we team these players have been able to reward them a lot more. And I feel like that is just the direction of the meta where we're going. It's going to be way more patient play than what we were used to seeing. Yeah, I mean, as the years go by, we're about like year three or four into ultimate. I mean, and this Crazy. is a trend for every Smash game. The punish game, everyone starts hitting harder. So then everyone's like, you know what? I can't really get hit anymore because everyone just hits so damn hard. Everyone's combo game's insane. Everyone's in bad and state is insane. Oh. So, so much more respect across the board in neutral, right? It's insane. The adaptation, too, that we see from players like Riddles, though, he sees that the buzz is stuck in shield by the ledge. He's going to be able to get that grab, that free jab, too, with that pummel. He's only at 9%. What a difference in the game that we had in that second game. Oh, wait. Oh, oh the drift back. Oh, oh, that was beautiful way of mixing up his recovery, but it's so hard when you burn your jump early. The back air ready in position from the buzz to be executed. What a sequence coming out from both players. Recovery and on Riddles and edge guarding and on the buzz there. But the buzz was able to catch that early jump on the repeat there, but here's Luma, and I mean, Riddles had so much momentum, but again, we talked about yep. Punish game. The Buzz got one hit, set up one offstage situation at around mid percent, and that was a wrap. He got one there by the ledge, that was all he needed right real quick, so that way he could keep up the pressure. He tears not just through Luma, he tears through DeBuzz. Luma's gone. 115 on that first stock still for DeBuzz here. Does the auto turnaround and he does the thing here with the conversion. He's going to be able to send him all the way flying to the other side. But great tag from DeBuzz. 145 yeah. with the light character. Across the map here. There's the down tilts, of course. Catch you sleeping. Don't hang on to the ledge too long, DeBuzz. I'm going to throw in the kicks there. And of course, that down tilt. You just go for two. You want to pop the Rosalina up and go right into the burning knuckle to close out that stock. So scary. That's why the buzz is playing like this. You have no other choice. Look at the shield pressure, too. Ooh, the charge. 
confidence. Oh, of course, the crack shoot coming into that high angle, going above the star bits here. Huge tool here. Vera's gonna go ahead and reset star bits, trying to cover the landing here, trying to get that extra bit of damage. Wow. Not gonna follow up there. Had to respect the Luma off the throw, right? And that's a big deal. Terry yep. gets a lot of damage off the throws. So when the Luma is up, that's another defensive mechanic that the Buzz can take advantage of. If you grab me, you still have to respect the Luma. It's always the minions that always do the work here for Dub Buzz, but specifically acting as that body shield real quick here too. Now that's not gonna be an issue though, as that, that stack is gonna be able to delete that Luma. Gonna be able to roll out of that, get the punish with the grab. Oh, oh, there's the spike. I don't even need the Luma for the edge guard. Just give me the halo. What's insane is that he, it was the last time that he tried to recover. It was horizontally. He wanted to recover high. To buzz had enough time to not only try to predict that, but to still chase and follow up with the down air. Oh my goodness. Gonna go ahead and get the Nair string into the power dunk here. Uh oh no, and the buzz is not going to make it back. The Luma shot taking up too much time and it wasn't worth it. Maybe kind of overthinking on that recovery there. Vicky. I definitely believe so, especially maybe thinking that he had enough time, enough space in general. There's more of that shield pressure from the crack shoot. Just waiting to reposition, trying to call out that high recovery so that way he could get the back air. But now the, that momentum is on Riddle's side. He has that opportunity now to keep racking up more of that damage. And if you play any of these fighting game characters, you give them an ounce of momentum and they'll make a gallon out of it. So oh, you gotta be very, very careful. Of course, Riddle's punish game up the best when it comes to these characters here. There's the forward tilt, doesn't follow up because it has to respect Luma once again. That's why he didn't want to overextend right there. And now with the crack shoot, you're going to get grabbed. You know the high recovery is coming in, but Riddle's wasting no time. Not only trying to take advantage of the platform, nice little parry though, but no punish. Yeah, and I like on that particular crack shoot, it got rid of Luma. So even the punish game afterwards might have not been so bad. I like the risk reward here. See if you can disarm the Luma, tries to get the forward tilt, not going to connect here. Oh, there's the Luma shot. Uh, okay, that is... Wow, Luma's uh, still what? alive, though. Luma said, you thought you've seen the last of me? No, no, no. <laughs> Not this time around. And you see right, right now, with the way that the Buzz was trying to control the Luma, to try to contest Riddles for a punish after getting that grab initially, but now Luma's off the table again. All right, Riddles, can you clutch it out here? You have the ledge pressure. Does get hit by the forward air. Another forward air from the Buzz. The Buzz oh, trying to close no. this one out. 3-1. The power dunk. The up air. It's not enough. The go meter. But it doesn't matter. The up air off the top. And the pop off too. The crowd cheering in the back. Riddles. That was a loser's match. Riddles bowing out. Riddles out at seventh. That is absolutely insane. But when you think about it against the Buzz, I mean, these player, the, the caliber of these players at this point of the bracket, this is tippity top stuff here. Congratulations to the Buzz here moving onwards. And man, there was so many slight conversions there at the end. One of the biggest, biggest combo tools for Terry is falling up here. And we actually saw Riddles get it falling up here on the left side earlier and wasn't able to convert it into something. And that's so huge. When, when you get your biggest combo starter, you really, really got to make it count. So again, like I said, maybe could be a bit of nerves, but that's the thing on this stage, right? That's why so many different outcomes come out. Not everything on paper goes about on stage or on tournament because there's so much pressure on the line. The crowd is huge. There's so much people watching and there's so much on the line. They hear you guys in the audience roaring with cheers and they hear us at the same time while also having that pressure like you mentioned. Although we have a lot of these competitors have the experience of performing on stage, it's another level every single tournament. Everything is different as we take a look at the replays, the pop-offs from the buzz. Always got to be a fan of the Debuzz pop-offs, all right? I got to give that highlight, okay? Yes, I always yes. got to give the props. I am a fan as well. I, I got I to gotta give it to the king of New York out here. He's going to be able to move on through the break.